welcome back to this week's video. It's gonna be a little paint with me video. Um, I'm facing my art fear and I'm doing a gouache portrait, um, which might sound funny because if you watch my content, I do a lot of these, but um, every single time I feel like they go wrong and I struggle with it and I, was originally filming a tutorial, which I feel like is comical after watching this footage back. I feel like um, the way that I do things has absolutely no technique and it's so hectic to watch. <laughs> I feel like I am in no place to teach this, um, but I still wanted to put the video out so um, you can watch the process and I'll just talk a little bit about, um, you know, why I struggle with this so much because I feel like painting portraits is the thing that I like to do the most, but for some reason with the gouache medium, I really, really struggle. When I first started painting, before I ever took anything seriously, I used acrylic paint and it would frustrate me so much um, how quickly the paint dried. I felt like nothing could ever blend. By the time you mix the next color and used it, the color underneath would be dry. Um, and then uh, I started using oil paint and fell in love with it because it has the opposite problem. Um, it doesn't dry for a long time, so um, all of the colors really beautifully blend together. It makes like painting skin very easy because things blend very seamlessly. Um, and so I would paint portraits and they would come out very realistic. And at the time I was very happy with that. And as I've kind of progressed and um, made more art as I've gotten older, um, I really appreciate art that still looks like art. And I love um, a painting just as a culmination of a bunch of brush strokes that you can see all of them separately. And um, I think it's actually a lot harder to make a painting look more painterly than it is to make it realistic. I don't know if that, if I'm alone in that opinion, but um, that's just my experience. So after using oil paint, I found gouache and I would paint mainly like landscapes and flowers and um, not really portraits with it. And I really, really liked it. Um, but I did, I found it similar to oil paint in the way that it was blendable. Um, but the only thing that I feel like uh, gouache is a little bit tougher with is it like really blends the color underneath it and oil paint does that as well but gouache for some reason I feel like will remove the color underneath it and it also sometimes doesn't have the opacity to cover over a layer underneath and for all of those reasons I just find it a little bit harder to use um, even though I try to make portraits with gouache often, um, I do feel like the whole time is a struggle and I hate it until the very last second. <laughs> um, and that happened with this portrait. That's the reason that I couldn't make a tutorial out of it. I felt like it was um, like a battle to get to any point that I felt like it looked even remotely the way that I wanted it to look. Um, I also find it harder to make the subject look like the reference when I'm using gouache because I'm so focused on um, getting the placement of the brush strokes right that I kind of lose um, the attachment to the reference. I don't know if that made sense. If you are looking for a really good gouache tutorial for portraits, Emily Hughes has a really good one that um, I've tried to follow and is very helpful. She talks about how um, you should start with the darkest tones first and kind of um, separate everything into uh, values and block colors in. All of that I feel like is um, really, really helpful. Even though I'm still working on it myself, um, if you are trying to imitate this type of style or um, just want an intro to how to use gouache paint, I really would um, recommend checking out her video.
After making this video, I feel like I am more resolved to try to do this again. <laughs> I want to get to a point in my painting process that I can teach you guys how to imitate the style that I'm going for as well. I just didn't feel ready at this point. I feel like, as I talked about, it was just a little bit um, all over the place. But my goal is to continue to practice and I'll share the process along with you guys as I learn um, different techniques and, and different ways of doing things. But um, all in all, I am happy with how this portrait turned out. I just feel like the whole time as I'm painting, I like, I'm scared it's gonna go wrong and I, I feel like I'm not gonna be able to save it. <laughs> but um, ultimately I am happy with it and I want to keep practicing so that I can um, share with you guys like tips and tricks and um, the methods to how to get a style like this. Um, I feel like I've repeated myself a lot in this video so I think I'm gonna leave off with that and I'll say that I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video. Um, please let me know what kind of videos you'd like to see from me. I feel like the um, like guided videos, like the how 10 ways to fill your sketchbook and how to do a portrait and um, those types of videos do pretty well on my channel. So um, that's what I'm, I've been sticking to. But if there's anything specifically that um, you like to see from artists and um, that you would specifically like to see from me, please give a comment uh, down below. I love reading all of them, so thank you so much for if you've left one in the past. Um, but yeah, other than that, I think that's all for me, and I will see you guys next week. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. And um, yeah, okay, bye.